Hey there good people, good morning from Dhaka Bangladesh. Today I already did a review, sort of like a list and then I got some other work to do. I finished those, I uh, got a haircut and workout and all that. Shower finally, uh, late night, yeah it's very hot and humid. You need like a couple of showers per day. So feeling very fresh and everything. Uh, so I thought like I'd do one more video for you. I have some few uh, topics. I wrote down some points I want to discuss regarding fragrances, uh, non-fragrance related and uh, you know in general life so i hope some of you watch those and i do these videos for you so i haven't worn anything i've done finishing my uh, beauty uh, sort of routine routine you know lip gel you know like your lotion and stuff so you still need fragrance to be complete that is uh, aventus cologne i'm gonna put this on i really feel like this is the perfect time it's 1 30. i i like doing this this is sort of like my um, routine so i just put some here Okay, I think that's quite enough. Let's just put one here. Yeah. So, yes, uh, Aventus Cologne is one of my favorite perfumes, if you do not know by now. So, let's talk about it. Really nice, fruity, apple, citrus, as a night, a night, night, nice, <laughs> nice little uh, perfume. So, I have about five to six points. I, I want to hit all of them. Uh, I don't want to have like 10 points. Uh, there are too many, actually. So, let's talk about uh, fragrances. Let's hit it, you know. First thing is backup bottles. Uh, many people ask me, brother, should I buy backup bottles or how many should I have if I like certain perfumes? You know, it's gonna be a little bit serious talk. Uh, I think, you know, if you actually love a perfume, you know, honestly speaking, you know, few issues are gonna arise. You know, if you love something at a certain stage, one to two years down the line, it's gonna be uh, reformulated. So what's gonna, what's gonna happen is that fragrance is gonna get weaker, basically, in performance. So if you love something, you know, let's a lot of fragrance, everything got reformulated, Aventus, uh, Diorum, Intense, Lanui Delum, you know, people cry about it and then, you know, they do not get it back. They pay a lot of money to get uh, then the vintage, uh, like few times more than the regular price. So my suggestion would be, this is very important. Uh, I'm going to make this not very long video. So do take note if you uh, want to, you know, if you're into fragrance game and you take my review seriously. I think if you love something, any fragrance that is, if you let's say brand new release you know if you like the smell if you really like the performance on you and it works for you get like at least two to three backup bottles why uh, because this fragrance one one bottle is finished then you can move on to the next one and at least it will serve you few years okay so that it will leave you nice memory you'll never run out of the juice and you don't have to spend extra so if you love something truly get backup bottles before it's reformulated or worse uh discontinued okay many fragrances get discontinued too second point is uh addiction you know this many people always uh, many reviewers also made video about it like fragrance addiction is a real issue yeah since the beginning of time and it is a real issue everybody has addic has addiction problem they do not know where to stop and addiction basically uh, this thing happens with human nature many times you can be addicted to buying many other things you can be shopaholic you know you can keep buying shoes watches many other things you can never stop it, it's uh, it's a problem especially if you're spending on credit card it becomes so addictive so fragrance game, this is our uh, forte. I would say fragrance game addiction there, you know, if you once get into it, it's very, very strong. And the arch, you know, like the arch from your heart, every now and then you want to buy a fragrance every day. Trust me, at a certain point, even if you can afford it or not, you want to buy a decant anyway. So you want to meet your craving. <clears throat> so you sacrifice a lot of things and you overspend every month. Even being a family man, you get under pressure. But I have a couple of suggestions if you actually getting into the addiction is getting bad. Just my suggestion is two cents are. Uh, first thing is uh, you, you can tackle it this way, like keep fixed number of fragrances, keep it in check, like keep it in count. Like many of our fragrances, I I was what, talking to one of my brothers, Nafis Bhai yesterday, and then Saifi Bhai, two of these brothers. And then I was showing them like what kind of mess I am in. I have this side, this side, I have like multiple side. I don't know how many I have right now, but at a certain point, you know, definitely you see, you run out of space that's that's a very bad sign that you sometimes do not know what you have if it's deep down there you cannot reach for it it's just collecting dust you don't use it so you are just hoarding you know so what my suggestion would be keep it in check let's say 100 is a very good healthy number if you once get control of your passion what you do is you uh, find 100 fragrances from your collection that you really love and always maintain 100 if you like buy something else get rid of something from your collection that you are not using that much uh, because sometimes, you know, there's no point collecting a perfume bottle and not using it. It's, for me, it's a total waste. Uh, next thing I can say is the sealed unused ones. Let's say you have some backup bottles, but you need cash. What you want to do with that backup sealed bottle, you know? Uh, let's say you have 
20 bottles of Aventus. These are sort of like a money in bank, you know, like deposit. So sell a couple, you know, like once you need cash, everything. Do not keep your stuff. Sometimes you go hungry, you have to pay loans. Uh, there's no point of holding on to bottles. And the last one is actually, I keep saying it. If you actually have a lot of fragrance big collection, keep using them. Uh, fragrance are meant to be used, create memories. I keep saying it, you keep uh, like experiencing it, find out different things, you know. You smell the Aventus cologne today, you get apples. Tomorrow you might get oranges, you, know, you never know. And then once someone asks you, then you can tell people that, yeah, I know about this perfume. I have been in this road, down this road. I know uh, what compliments it got me, uh, which uh, people disliked it, and what is their like, issues with it, longevity or projection, or what happens when I come out of the AC room, what happens when I go on a drive highway. You know, you can tell. Then you know like the whole experience is complete. It's like Holy Trinity sort of, okay? Holy Trinity, just, let's just call it that, okay? Third one is, uh, now we have a few things. Uh, let's let's talk about the fragrance uh, topic and then the last two, two, two topics would be our human lives, okay? I'm rushing a little bit because I don't want to make it 20 minutes. People don't have the time to watch. Most of you don't have, so you're busy, I understand. Uh, next topic would be longevity of per perfume, okay? This is happening in currently in Bangladesh. I don't know about India, Pakistan, our neighboring countries or Asian countries. It's happening a lot with our uh, weathers, you know, like, our winter last year was horrible. It's the one of the worst winters ever. It was terrible. Of course, the corona was there, but it was not like cold, like the way you expected it. So we could not enjoy the cold weather. We couldn't take out our jacket. So it didn't reach our expected temperature. So right now, after the winter is finished, now the heat and humidity is just killing us. Just simply so hot, people feel falling sick. I keep drinking water, like five liters every day or more. Uh, what happens because you get dehydrated so in that process a lot of other bad things happening for our fragheads brothers many people are complaining uh, our cd name is not lasting more than an hour a lot of perfumes are not performing nothing is performing on me to be honest nothing is performing on me i put any perfume i went that day my meetup i wore sunshine man you know eight nine sprays it didn't last more than three to four hours you know i mean i didn't detect it afterwards it became very close to skin because of humidity so keep in mind that you know there's no way coming out of Longevity, you can just follow a few things. You can carry a decan or you can carry a small little bottle with your partial. So you have to respray every two, three hours. Second thing I can tell you, uh, do shower every day. Shower helps increase longevity. It works better with the skin chemistry and you feel much more at peace. You know, you can enjoy the perfume when you're not smelling thousand things from your head, you know, from your body and odor and stuff like that. <clears throat> I would tell you uh, also uh, keep yourself moist, like lotion yourself a lot, like put it in a lotion and then apply the lotion like the, put the perfume in lotion and then apply it on your skin to last a little bit longer but mostly you have to carry a decant or a partial with you if you feel uh, these fragrances are not performing it's perhaps is the weather heat and humidity is the worst enemy of a perfume okay so you can um, like yeah you can use that as a measure to uh, increase your longevity but even fragrance like Nishan is Sultan Vetiver Ani they are not also performing as much as they did in December and January, okay? So those are the fragrance stuff. So let me do some serious talk. Uh, apart from perfumes, uh, there are other things called our life, you know, as human being, how we interact. And um, there are complaints at times. I do not get compliments. Uh, people do not uh, say anything about my perfume or uh, they don't like me despite wearing a beautiful perfume. Why is that so? Uh, this is just my observation, whatever from my life I'm sharing with you. Uh, let's say you are an influencer and you do a lot of videos, but uh, you actually are not really sincere about your work. You know, you lie, you manipulate people, you uh, hype something or someone up who's not actually a very good uh, seller or a person or a shop and you're just getting the money and you're just blindly promoting them because you want to get some something out of it, payment out of it. At certain point, trust me, believe it or not, at certain point, people will see your BS. You can lie every day to people. You can pretend that you know a lot, but actually you just have no passion, absolutely zero. So you're not honest about your work. So it's a, for me, it's from a life if you waste three, four years, five years behind the work and you're not successful. It's a sheer waste of your time, especially if you're not genuine. If you're actually honest and working, you keep working. Look at me. I'm working since 2016. I have no payment from anybody not from channel no company uh, sponsor me and i believe in myself i believe in that someday something good will happen i created so much content sitting in bangladesh with this phone without any editing and i've achieved that you know because of my hard work no one could stop my work you know that's what i'm extremely proud of 
I don't have the highest number of subscribers. I don't have uh, income from YouTube. That didn't stop me. You know, nowadays, uh, yeah, I'm working with Perfume Bangladesh. You know, they offered me a job, but I don't know how long uh, I'll be connected with them because, you know, things change. But uh, honestly speaking, you should not let anything be your motivation other than your work. You know, your work should be number one motivation for you. If you keep working, you know, things will start. Success will chase you. If you chase success, you know, now you'll never ever, you know, succeed in my humble opinion. So you have to keep doing your work and you have to like, let's say you are not good. Today you are not skilled enough. Tomorrow, by reading a lot of Fragrantica notes, reading other, reading other people's, uh, say, uh, reviews and watch some of reviews and smelling a lot of perfume, you will definitely get experience, you know, over time. Even if you do not know much, you will be good. But to be a successful, let's say, influencer or something, I really believe you should not lie and you should not fake promote you know like i see this happening a lot you know i i feel bad for these people honestly speaking i have nothing against them but people when they say these people look so fake it hurts you know so it, it's don't be fake you know that's one thing i keep saying stay original uh, second thing is good manners are important you know uh, if you are a, not a pleasant person to be around like let's say you are ill-mannered you're always cunning you know you're always like trying to trick people trying to overshadow them or try not trying them not to shine you know you want to stop them from shining and you're always behind people conspiracy you know you are just a plain a hole you know uh, nothing's gonna make you ever popular you know people will know your real face one day you know like if you're not a nice person you cannot pretend to be a nice person uh, because when people come close to you they know who you are what you really like and then you know they will obviously be repulsive uh, like you know they will just move away from you uh, so this is what I really feel I am what I am so do not be fake and do not be uh, rude if you don't like something you know uh, just deny it nicely and you move away from them no need to have high friction and you know high heat situation okay so second that is the manners so the last thing i want to say uh, nowadays in the world i keep wondering you know what's wrong with us how did we get here many of you probably wondering you know just uh, how did you get here our life sucks so much uh, let me have some water yeah that's that doesn't look nice but yeah i keep drinking water all day because you get thirsty very fast in high heat so even in the ac room you start sweating in the ac in the car you start sweating so bad uh i mean the weather is so bad so what i was saying is you know you keep wondering how did you get here let's make this 15 minutes or so uh i kind of you know like there's no absolute answer behind why world is such a bad place today why there's no happiness why there is everywhere tension corruption and you see like people fighting, you know, racism, hatred and uh, people killing people, all these nasty things happening. You know, people uh, run away with your money. You cannot trust anybody. People uh, cannot even trust their life partners. The thing is, uh, why this is happening for me is very simple. It's us, you know, generation after generation. We have been cultivating these things that are totally unhealthy. For me, this is what I realize, you know, looking at people, looking at religions, looking at what's supposed to be versus what's happening, really. Uh, let's say, uh, talk about like, there's no, nothing genuine. I was talking about fake uh, promoters and stuff. You see people getting it for free and then they say, this is the best, I did not get paid for it. But you know in your heart that at certain point, they're lying. And once you realize someone's not genuine, you can never ever trust them or like them again. This is very simple. See, uh, your growth will only happen if you can maintain your uh, faith with people you know who you're connecting with who are your uh, buyers or who are your customers or who are your followers they'll only support you if they know that you're genuine good or bad even if, even if we cannot be good all the time right we have bad sides i have bad sides i have good side but at least be transparent you know be as honest as possible if you're not genuine if you're pretentious it, it's kind of off-putting it's very disgusting and nowadays i see a lot of people i like that they do not like you but they smile this i'm a big fan i am so big fan of yours but actually they want something in return uh, they want to use you for their business premise you know they be want to become rich they see opportunity but they don't want to do anything for you that is like horrible this is literally horrible and that happened with me people i know in my country it happening a lot so yeah you it, these things do change you i mean it's it's so tough it changes you you know so uh see when you talk about genuine there's no genuine love it's everything happens with what you get you know how let's say people get married and they expect something hey i'm getting married in that particular family perhaps they're rich my fortune will change they don't have the interest in the person that's why you see people fighting 
not happy and they suspect and there's no happiness what's the point you have a nice car nice house people from outside they look at you they're like this guy is so happy he's good looking he has a nice family nice kids nice wife he must be happy guy goes for like holidays but actually inside he's not happy right so genuinely inside we are unhappy and there's no point if we have everything and we are not still happy right i try to be happy with whatever i have you know at times i don't have money i go to normal places i enjoy food i tell myself you know you're still alive a lot of things to enjoy uh, try to you know live simple life you know things will come you know like fortune will change someday right but uh, nowadays uh, i'll tell you one story i was watching things now for more than 15 minutes yeah, i saw already done alice let's go 20 minutes i think yeah so there are uh, certain things okay there was this uh, legendary um, musician that we watched since our childhood in bangladesh uh, he had a band called lrb little river band and we at, in the school we were the, his biggest fan his uh, the singer's name was ayub bachu he passed away sadly a couple of years back he was the best guitarist in our history of bangladeshi music and he was our dream like you know he was a dream hero some writers, some actors, some singers, you know, since childhood, they are your heroes. So he was having a show one day, just telling a story. And then there was other uh, musician that was his student, but he's also a big musician called Partho. Okay. Partho is part of another band. So what happened was uh, in the show, in the live show uh, on TV, Ayub Bachu, the great guitarist, he called or on TV that Partho, uh, can you just come to, you know, join us in our live performance? And then Partho actually came from very far place and doing the jam and everything. And usually when people call people, people uh, in general in Dhaka, it's very difficult to move. But that guy made it in the stage. Do you know why? He came to the mic and he said, uh, this guy taught me uh, guitar. I have to be here uh, if he calls me. That is love. That is what I was watching yesterday. And this is where I become inspiration to do these videos. Uh, see, if someone taught you something, someone did something for you in your life, I like to at least uh, stay grateful. I like to stay, uh, show gratitude. And if I cannot show gratitude, I try not to harm them. But suddenly, you know, in Bangladesh, I notice a lot of people in our country, a lot of people are like, they not only forgive, forget your uh, help, they not only just forget about what you did for them, uh, they hurt you, they try to damage you later because they are like that. You know, some people are so evil, you know, so. I'm, and if you are like a human, human being like that, if you are a disgusting human being, you have no self-respect, you have no dignity, all you care for is money, you care for you how to go up, who, how to take control, how to... There are some people in our building, you know, they have absolutely no manners, no education, nothing. He's just like a, I don't know, criminal sort of a guy. He has a gun, you know, he tried to take the building's uh, management so he can be the boss, you know, he can control whatever happened in the building and he threatens people. Everybody hates him. People will be happy if he just one day just dies, you know. So these things happen. And what uh, what do you achieve? You know, getting so much money by harming people or when you have power by abusing. These things are what's wrong with us. And we see it every day. And we just think this is not our issue. We see it on the road. People are breaking law. They are not giving you your rights, you know. Police behaving, misbehaving with you. They are corrupt. And you have to bow down in front of them. That's how slowly generations after generations a country go down no matter how much money you have no matter how um, advanced you get your mobile phone iphone everything you will never find happiness you always find that you're chasing something you are not getting you know uh, some people just get so old so fast right so these are the things i wanted to talk about and then you know we are shallow you know this other thing we are just have absolutely no respect self-respect we mix with people who absolutely don't deserve our time you know uh, last one thing I want to say, a couple of things in our group. I see members, some of the members, they have absolutely no respect. We have in our country, in English we say you, right? Or you means you, okay? In Bangladesh we have uh, three uh, types of you. You, certainly like we say tui, tui we call it our juniors, uh, tumi or our same batch people and for our friends and then apni, apni means or in Hindi people say tu, ap or uh, tu, Tum up, up, I think, Urdu and Hindi. So what it means is like we call different age group differently with respect, different level of respect. So some people, if they do not know you, I do not call someone to me or to you like the low grade you, okay? Uh, the reason being, my teachers taught me, never ever disrespect anybody. You never know who's going to become what someday. You always have to respect your fellow human being. These are the 
things that were taught to us. Okay, there was a great teacher, Mr. Shaukot. He passed away, I think. Uh, I studied in one coaching center. Uh, he taught us this. I, I absolutely like respect this teacher all my life. I remember what he taught us. So you see, a lot of people come to the group and they. they Call you without respect like they say to me or just calling you by your name that is not respectful in our country and people do that because they think they're better because they have money and they can do whatever they want absolute horrible people I absolutely hate this kind of people you know I do not respect I do not feel they have any class and they go you can see the kind of people they keep around socialize with you can tell so uh, you don't need such people in your life okay and uh, sometimes also remember this Life is about respect. Uh, someone's time is precious. Okay, if you have your time, you think is precious. Uh, others' time, you know, like let's say you go to a shop and you expect them to do something for you, which is unfair, you know, and you just misbehave with them. You don't have the right to misbehave with them. They own the business, and you, being a customer, and money, having the money. Yes, you are buying them, buying from them, everything. But still, show respect to people who are working outside. You know, uh, do not waste someone's time if you have no intention to. Uh, buy anything from them okay like let's say i'm a shop many people come and ask me i try to answer their question but at times it doesn't involve me and people expect me to answer whole day you know and then they get angry why aren't you responding to my conversation i just put them in ignore because they don't understand you know i have things to do i have value for my time you know and uh, thing is understand that if your time is precious everybody else's time is precious too so long video i'm sorry i'm sorry once again i made long video but just felt like inspired to talk Hopefully we can get better. Fragrance are nothing if we are not nice human beings, you know. So we try. Let's see. If we, we're never going to win or beat someone over. We're not going to win over someone. But at least try to be good people. In the end, we will win. Okay. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.